Hi, I'm Marie Elizabeth Mali, and this is Relationship Alchemy. Happy Interdependence Day. As we celebrate July 4th today in the United States, I invite you to reframe this holiday as not only independence from an oppressive regime, but also let's recognize that we are all connected, that what affects one of us, even if we're not immediately aware of it or consciously aware of it because it's not directly in our space, that thing that's affecting one of us affects all of us. When I think about the meaning of July 4th in my country of origin, the United States, of course, it's celebrating independence as a country from an oppressive or what was perceived as an oppressive situation. However, what as what often happens as we are leaving one set of circumstances for another, oppressiveness gets recreated. This happens over and over again in the context of relationships, which is so often the subject of our show. You can leave a relationship, start a new relationship, and you discover, oh my God, it's the same pattern. It just is with a different person. But I've set up the same dynamic that I had before. So I invite you today to think about both interdependence, how are we all connected and how do we treat the world and treat the people we meet and the relationships we have with the understanding that we are interdependent. That is a necessary part of our species of survival, of the survival of the planet. Interdependence is a more elevated way of approaching life because it's actually more close to the truth of what's really going on. And secondly, in the, in the spirit of independence today, what are the habitual patterns that you would like to be independent from, that you would like to liberate yourself from in your own life? Patterns of behavior, patterns of limited thinking, patterns of how you show up in your relationships that perhaps you want to change, patterns of how you treat yourself or how you talk to yourself that perhaps you want to change. All of these could be part of your true independence day, independence from the shit that holds you back, from the limited thinking that has not even allowed you to imagine a better possibility. Uh, I invite you to consider where perhaps you have traded one set of oppressive conditioning for another. Maybe you've come out of your original oppressive conditioning from your family, but you've traded it for a new kind of oppressive conditioning to fit in at the office or to be a part of a spiritual community that has a lot of rules. Whatever it is, we are constantly functioning under the thumb of rules and oppressive situations and one can become independent of those things even as we exist in the world you don't have to go live in the forest in a cave wearing nothing but a shawl you don't have to do that to be free however being actually free not free in name only which is what the united states is being actually free involves interrogating all the different ways that you are imprisoning yourself in your thinking, in your conditioning, in uh, trying to fit yourself into the mold of who you think you're supposed to be, which maybe is not 100% true to who you actually are. So that's my invitation for you on in Independence Day 2023, both to recognize that we are interdependent and to invite you to think about that a bit today, how you're connected to everyone and everything, and how could you show up in a way that affirms that and honors both yourself and others. And secondly, 
what, if anything, do you want to be freed from, independent from, in your life? Whether that's in your thinking, in how you relate, something professional, something spiritual or religious, and think about any spot you want to get free and what might be your first step to open a space of freedom within that arena. Hope you have a beautiful day today with people you love. And on that note, remember that a great relationship and a great life start with you.